Hey everyone, this is Dan the Pirate King 25 here. And guess what I got? I forgot to show you guys something that I got over in New York. Now I didn't buy this one, I got it in a trade. And it is so awesome. Now this probably won't come to a shock of any of you. This is my first ever Gundalian Invaders. And it's Helix Dragonoid. That's right, Helix Dragonoid. The only Gundalian Invader I would actually want. Uh, now I didn't get a battle gear, could have, didn't, should have, but uh, really I like this guy. He's got a lot of cool colors. He's kind of big, like long wise. He's got the, I mean, like look at how long he can stretch out. That's just insane. And then like I like the three horn look. It kind of looks like the um original head of Ultra Dragonoid. Now this guy's arms are really flimsy. He's shaking his fist at you. He doesn't like you. Ha! <laughs> and this one does have the code too. And I was... And I know that it has not been used. Obviously because the game hasn't come out. And it won't come out till March as the figures won't. And something cool is that on these little pegs. The um... <clears throat> the battle gear can magnetize to it and that's really cool because then you can just pop it open on the Bakugan and then like it's got the green eyes like the original Drago it's uh, in its monster form it's got the original wings of the original Dragonoid which is pretty cool here's what it looks like in ball form pretty cool look I really like the whole yellow design I love most of the reason that I like this Drago is because it's got the tail love like I said in some of my comments for my Pokemon vid, you might have noticed, I love Pokemon with tails, so I really like Bakugan with tails. I like Reptile Bakugan as well. That's why every Bakugan in my actual team is Reptile. Two dragons and a giant snake, of course. Oh, and a Pythantis as well. Abyss Omega and two Ultra Dragonoids. Pythantis, that's my team, but... Doesn't really matter because I already got ninth place. But anyway, back to the review. Sorry about that. I noticed how, like, on his nails, there's like some orange paint there, which is really cool. They also have like the little symbol for the infinity sign. You can kind of see it. Oh, kind of see it there. And then it's like orange as well. You got a lot of yellow all over the place. Huge, huge magnet. Although it's not all that big, it's just the circle. That's the big part. But it is still a very strong magnet. See? Wee! Dragonoid card! Yay! What are the odds I'm using this card? Very high, actually. And so this is like my favorite Dragonoid right now just because this thing looks so epic. And like here. Compared to... Let's compare this guy. Horns out and everything. To the... Oh, let's get his horns and everything out. To the original Dragonoid. Mm. Stupid thing. Now, as you can see... Very big differences. Very, very big differences. I think the closest thing to him right now would probably be this. Oh crap! Probably be this guy. But even still, they're very far off. Even this guy, with the head similar, they are extremely far off. Like this looks like barely any other Dragonoid aside from itself. So that's why it's my favorite Dragonoid right now. It's even my wallpaper on my phone. That's just how cool he is. Well, this has been Dan the Pirate King 25 and his review on his first ever Gundalian Invader. Helix Dragonoid or Helix Dragonoid or however you want to say it. I say Helix. But to, to all his own. He's got 600 Gs right now, so that means he can evolve. All I gotta do now is get like Earthquake Dragonoid with like 950 Gs or something. Yeah, 950, that's actually legal. I have a 1000, technically not legal. 
and I won't be able to go to the ne next year's tournament because I was 15 for this tournament and I'm going to be 16 in May. So sadly enough, I cannot defend my title as number 9 next year. It's a sad thing indeed, but somebody's got to do it. Well, 